Hey everyone! Today I'm going to have you all get ready with me. I'm going to show you what I do first thing in the morning when I get up and get ready for the day on days when I wash my hair because I don't wash my hair every day. Some people do, but a lot of people don't. This routine that I'm going to show you today is going to be everything from putting my moisturizer on to doing my hair to doing my makeup. Then you'll see the final product. I'm going to show you the products I use and what I do. This is my typical routine on on a typical hair washing day. So I start with my shower, which I won't show you because that'd be weird. And besides, you know how to take a shower, wash your hair, and shave your legs. I've been using Dove Purely Pampering Body Wash in pistachio cream with magnolia. They have so many scents and formulas, so lately I've been trying them all, and I really like this one. And since it's Dove, I use this on my face too. I shave my legs and underarms with the Venus Swirl Shaver, and I also use Venus Olay Violet Swirl Shave Gel. And for my hair, lately I've been using Kerastase Crystalliste Bane Crystal Shampoo. This shampoo is formulated for long hair and I have been loving the results. And I condition with Kerastase Chroma Riche Mask. This is a very rich, buttery hair mask that's awesome for color treated hair. For my body moisturizer, I've been using CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. It's wonderful for your skin and I love how it's unscented so it won't clash with my perfume. And here I am right out of the shower. For my facial moisturizer, I've been using Aveeno Ultra Calming Daily Moisturizer. It's great if you have redness like I do. For my eye cream, I've been using L'Oreal Revitalift Eye Cream. I swear by eye cream. My favorite scent at the moment is Flower Balm by Victor & Rolf. It's very flowery and since I love florals, I am loving this fragrance. To style my hair, today I'm using Kerastase Elixir Ultime. I take a small amount and work it through my hair and then I comb it out to distribute the product evenly. Now it's time to dry my hair. First, I rough dry my hair to get the moisture out without damaging it. Then I dry my hair straight with a paddle brush. And this is what it looks like before I curl it. To curl my hair, today I'm using a one and a half inch Hot Tools Ceramic TI Tourmaline Curling Iron. What I do is I take a section of the hair starting at the bangs and I curl my hair back and I spray the roots with hairspray, in this case Paul Mitchell Freeze and Shine Hairspray. It's really good for volume at the roots. Then after I take the hair out of the curling iron, I pin the curl with a duckbill clip and let the curls cool without losing the curl. So the curls go back at the top and then down on the back and the sides. This set works well for long layered hair when you want volume. It comes out a little big at first, but it falls nicely throughout the day. And while my hair cools, I apply my makeup. For foundation, I'm using Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. I'll start by dotting the foundation on my face. For another of their foundations, Clinique suggested dotting in a flower pattern for full coverage, so I figured why not for this foundation as well. And now that I look a little silly, I'll take a dampened sponge wedge and blend it all in. For concealer, I'm using Bobbi Brown Cream Concealer. I'm using a concealer brush to apply it under my eyes in a V-shape, and then I'm also applying it to any blemishes. Then I lightly tap the concealer with my fingers to gently blend it in, and then finish off the tapping with the same sponge wedge I used for foundation. For powder, I'm using Clinique Blended Face Powder, and I'm using my Bobbi Brown Powder Brush to apply it. For eyeshadow, I'll start by applying Clinique All About Shadow in French Vanilla all over from lash to brow using the Bobbi Brown Eye Sweep Brush. For the lid color, I'm applying Urban Decay Sidecar from the Naked Palette using the Bobbi Brown Eyeshadow Brush. And for the contour crease color, I apply Urban Decay Buck, also from the Naked Palette, using my old Bobbi Brown Eye Contour Brush. I have had this brush forever, but I love it because I find it to be the best brush for that sideways V contour. For my brows, I just take a spoolie brush and brush them down and then up and over. I just keep them natural but neat. Then for eyeliner, I'm using Clinique Quick Liner for Eyes in Black Brown. And then I smudge the eyeliner with a Bobbi Brown Eye Smudge Brush. My little trick if you need to blend your eyeshadow a little bit more is to take a sponge wedge, do not dampen it, and lightly blend your eyeshadow up and out from lid to brow bone, but just do this lightly. 
For blush, bronzer, and highlighter, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Flush Palette in Strip. First, I'll apply the bronzer to the hollows of my cheeks with a Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush. Then, I'll apply the highlighter to the tops of my cheekbones with the same Bobbi Brown Sheer Powder Brush. I just wiped it off first. And then after that, I apply the blush with a Bobbi Brown Blush Brush. For mascara, I'm using the Physicians Formula Eye Booster Instant Lash Extension Kit. First, I'll apply the mascara to the top and bottom lashes. Then, I'll apply the brush on extensions to the top lashes only. After that, I apply a second coat of the mascara to both the top and bottom lashes. In preparation for lipstick, I'll apply a lip liner. This one is MAC Boldly Bear. The lipstick I'm using is Urban Decay Revolution Lipstick in Naked, and the final touch for my makeup is a dot of gloss. In this case, I'm using Lancome Juicy Tubes in Simmer. And we're done with our makeup, so now it's time to finish doing my hair. All I need to do is take the pin curls out, tousle my hair, style it with my fingers, and apply a little hairspray just lightly. It does come out a little big at first, but it falls nicely throughout the day. And I'm done. And that's what I do. I wish I could take less time getting ready in the morning, but I've pretty much gotten it down to a science and this is what I do. This is a day when I'm wearing makeup for the day and I'm doing my hair. Uh, of course, there are those ponytail days, but the, today isn't one of them. So let me know down in the comments below how long you take to get ready in the morning. Also, what some of your favorite products are. I would love to get some ideas on new products to use. If you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all next time. Bye!